Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> I, and I'm kind of upset that Vernon and Caleb can't be here because I know that he's I was just thinking that. But who would you want to see take up the Wolverine mantle and why? Actor wise? Actor wise. There's not a soul I can name. I've been going through this in my head since Logan. Yeah. Um, Logan, in my opinion, I very rarely give a 10 out of 10 for a movie. That was the perfect movie to me. Um, and afterwards, I just I can't see anybody playing Logan or playing that, that hotel character. scene was incredible. Yeah, yeah. I um, I remember like me and my friends have this conversation all the time, like who should the next one be? And I just I can't think of anybody else to play that role. I guess maybe the only other person I probably could have thought of would have been Ryan Reynolds, but he's already Deadpool, so yeah. Um, see, and I don't hmm, when it comes to casting people in roles again. I think you just get any actor that's good at their craft and they can become the character. But, you know, the actors aren't um, bigger than the characters. The characters are bigger than the actors. It takes a good writer and an actor who commits to the role. And I think you'll uh, be looking. Chris Hemsworth's brother, is it Liam? Liam. Yeah. I think he has the look. Um, I think I he's a trash actor, to be honest. But I think he's got the look. <laughs> and uh, you give a decent script and, a script and enough grunts, maybe it works. Uh, look wise, he's about <laughs> the uh, Carl here. Urban would be good too. And he's a great okay. spot, he's great in the boys. Everything I've seen him in, he's been a different person. I think Carl Urban could pull that off fantastic. He's got a, he's got a beautiful head of hair, too. Right? I mean, you could you can make the Logan do out of that easy. He's, yes. he's not rocking like we're rocking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Chris? What do you think? So originally before Venom came out, I was thinking Tom Hardy. I thought that he would be a really great Wolverine. Um, he has like that badass vibe to him. Um, but obviously, like you said, with uh, Ryan Reynolds being Deadpool, he just can't, you can't double dip that way. Um, but in all honesty, Luke Evans was someone that Luke I was kind of thinking um, after he too. was in, oh, geez, uh, and he was great in Anna, if any of you guys saw that movie. He did phenomenal. And I, I could totally see him taking up that man and truly being that Wolverine, really tough and rugged character. And he's so, got presence. Yeah. What, what yeah. if we don't do traditional Wolverine? We roll with the X-23 and kind of go that route. Oh, X-23 would be, be interesting great. too. Stood out in that movie too. Oh yeah, absolutely. And Keep the same. Captain Key was great. Yes. Or what if we distance ourselves, get some space, get X twenty three in here for a couple of films, roll with that, and then maybe introduce another Logan down the line when you know maybe. The it's hard not part as... is, how do you introduce X twenty three without Wolverine? Like it's from him that. Well, I mean, how do you introduce Black Widow when she's already dead? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So it's <laughs> they're kind of well, going back. You know, I I get what you're saying. I just. Uh, now that they're playing with time for whatever reason, <laughs> like uh, I no, I would love to see X twenty three, and I think she's fierce. Like, yeah, um, that all new Wolverine. I bought mm -hmm. the trade on a on a lark. I'm like, all right, Great. let's check this out. Yes. blown away. I thought it was amazing. The writing's phenomenal. I was immediately invested in that character. Thought, thought so. Yeah, I, I'm all for a movie with her, and I was actually hoping they were going to continue after Logan with an X twenty three movie with Daphne Keene. That's yeah. what I really hope. I'm wondering if this whole deal just kind of ruined all that. You know, I mean, because just that movie was raw. She was raw. And I don't even know that that character right now fits into the MCU, unfortunately. Well, there was rumors Marvel was talking to her mm -hmm. about reprising the role. That is, you know, obviously it would be a different X-23. It would still be her, but not playing that X-23, playing her right. in a new series. Kind of sick of seeing stuff redone. Like, and I hope, you know, when they get around to doing the X-Men, they don't just... I don't want everybody's damn origin story. I don't want all this stuff. Like, just throw them into the movies they belong in. Like, give me Carol Danvers with Rogue in a movie. You know, like, give me this yep. stuff instead of, I, I just don't want to see it all redone. You know, I really don't. You see, that's the thing is, with Wolverine, they've got to play the long game. They can't yeah. introduce him early on, and he can't be the Hugh Jackman anymore. Yeah. He has to be um, this guy who sits off on the sidelines and is used when he's needed, and... Hugh Jackman carried that entire franchise. Yeah, absolutely. Ten plus movies that they made. Well, yep. They took Halle all the Berry. worst qualities of Cyclops and gave them to James Marston. <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, but I'd love if they're gonna do Wolverine again, start him in Canada. Let's see him yes. 
Let's see him coming out. Let's see him fighting through the snow. Let's see him about with the wind to go. Just, hey, he has no idea who he is. He's still getting his memories back. And you're just Do seeing the savage story. of him as he regains his humanity coming back into the fold. Or even, yeah. I mean, just have a movie called Striker, and just you can introduce so much through that. And oh, that would be have phenomenal. a sequel where Wolverine comes in, you know, something like that. I mean, I love your idea. That that's phenomenal too. I just, uh, I, I, there's so much they could do that they haven't done. Still, somehow, in ten films, never did. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't think it's time. Um, quite See, frankly, I, I feel like the original X Men movies. There was always like a piece of them that really hit the nail on the head and did well, and but they never took off. So the only other actor that I would like to see at least has driven in the role um, just because of his current success as Aquaman would be Jason Momoa. That's, that's what my wife wants. Um, I, I think he would be a really badass, phenomenal Wolverine. Um, and I mean, they're going to have to bring Hugh back and no, he's done with it, man. He's, he's put his well, time in just as a um, advisory role. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how, did you make, how did you do this with Wolverine? Um, because I think that's just going to have to be something that Marvel realizes no one's going to take up this mantle unless we're able to really pick away at what made Hugh Jackman Wolverine. See, I, I think, wouldn't mind another uh, unknown. Hugh Jackman was unknown when he took it over. He made the role true. his. True. You bring in Momoa, who I'm a big Momoa fan. I've liked him in everything I've seen him in. But if he's playing Wolverine, I'm only going to see Momoa. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? You know, I, I'd like to, an unknown who becomes Wolverine to us on the screen. For sure. At the same time, I kind of wonder, what do you think about, like, a buffer, bearded Ryan Gosling? I know that sounds strange. <laughs> but he does have some range. And I, I don't know. I think I could kind of see that. Um, I think Ryan Gosling does phenomenal with anything he is in. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, because I feel like the writing and all this stuff is going to start to be a little botched now that they're trying to bring in stuff we've already seen everywhere and rewrite things. And I feel like the MCU is not going to be nearly as crisp. Um, at this point. Um, I think we need to accept that and be mindful of it. So I think if we if they get better actors as opposed to I don't know trying to fall back on the script, I think they might be better. Although I do like Gary's idea of an unknown because then that person can play that character for years to come because it's their first well, gig. And it'll, so I, I I can go either way on it, I guess. But I'm just not ready I mean, for any Wolverine at this moment. No, I I completely agree. I think he's been so he's totally played out, even though he's been played well. Um, they they gotta wait at least ten years before they can do anything with him. I, I just. Uh, I think if Logan had sucked, it would have been like, all right, on to the next one. But just because of how raw and great that movie was, it's going to stick yeah. with me for a long time. Well, there's even been rumors of a Disney Plus series just about Wolverine. There's a lot they could do with that. I'd be down for that, too. To be honest, I'm more interested in half the Disney Plus shows coming out from Marvel than I am the movies that are on. So we're not doing who we want to get their own movie this time? No, not yet. Ah, uh, we'll spell to our hands in the air. Thing. So that will be, we'll, we'll save that for next time is going to be at the end of August and all they have to do is fill up that card with fight with going to whatever shop um, has signed on and they send it to us on Instagram or in their email and they end up getting entered in that giveaway at the end of August oh that's they awesome send that to us and then um, be subscribed so hopefully that will um, really help us out and so I, as I said, I talked to Midtown Comics yesterday. They're really excited about it. They just have to have their marketing department approve it. Um, so, now, what are we giving away for that one? So I'm thinking... And Do you want to... Um, so you know that Hulk uh, book I sent you guys? Yeah. I can do that for the giveaway. I mean, it's a uh, like $75 book. Um, actually, now it's 65 Nine twos went down. But I mean, I have no problem giving that away. Okay. And so Comics Etc. is on board. Um, All Heroes is on board. Chuck is on board. Um, there's a comic book store in Buffalo that's excited about it. That Dave and Adams? Um, collectors in. And then, like I said, Midtown in New York City. And um, Forbidden Planet in New York City. I've got feelers out to them to see if they're interested. So as we said, 
obviously we don't want to see another Wolverine movie for quite some time. Um, that's kind of the consensus that I've been getting from around um, the comics realm. We, as a community, and we as the loungers really don't want to see Wolverine on the big screen for at least, I would say, 10 years. I think that would be a perfect amount of time to kind of get Logan out of the back of our minds, get the Fox X-Men universe out of the back of our minds, and really just hit the ground running in 10 years with a brand new Wolverine. And I completely agree with Dan. I think it would be amazing, even and Gary, it would be amazing if we had a no-name actor take on that role as a young actor. So again, it would be really awesome to see a brand new actor in 10 years take on that role. And we don't know who that might be. That could be a kid who's um, still in middle school right now. You never know. It, it all depends on what route they take with Wolverine. Are they going to take an origin story where he's 20 years old? Are they going to take slightly past his origin where he's 30 years old who knows so again from all of us here at the comics lounge keep it casual